Welcome back to V-Rule. It is our sneak peek Saturday where we look a little bit into my own personal collection and today we're actually going to do some card opening which is not super common but thought it'd be a good time for it for what I have. Before we get into that, the Glaring Articuno tin from Crown Zenith. Maybe you can get into this one here. Uh, that's a great tin there. Beautiful promo. Four packs going out to one lucky winner. Two three-pack blisters of Stellar Crown and a Pokemon mystery prize. That's four winners overall for four great prizes. All we got to do is reach that 2,500 subscriber mark and we are really getting close so like comment subscribe be a part of the channel and make sure you go over to this video here that's the one that's the one where you got to go and leave a comment where you could be entered to win for this giveaway a couple little things here with this sneak peek of getting into it today i did go ahead and purchase the noctowl with the pokemon center uh, stamp on there as the uh, exclusive promo from the Pokemon Center ETB. So, <clears throat> don't like how we get those in here, but I purchased it secondary to keep my ETB sealed, and uh, for, it was a few dollars less, I didn't want to, but I went with the opened version also, and I purchased that separately, because I don't have the art heart to rip it open. So, uh, I now got the best of both worlds, and uh, I can save these as part of my collection where they're single cards. I really, really dislike the dividers being in there because it's bulky, it kind of hurts the collection the way I'm doing it. Uh, having all of these Pokemon Center stamped cards in one solid collection uh, with their non-stamped version as well. Today, we're gonna go pretty quick, but we are going to rip packs of the Trick or Trade Booster Bundle. Now, this is not the first time this has come out. It came out in 2022, 2023, and now here in 2024. Um, from what I could tell is these are seeded, and you should be able to just go in order and get everything. Uh, there are 30 cards total in the set, uh, so that's quite a lot there for a tiny little set here. But the fun part is, if you're just ripping them to open them up and collect them all, you know, there are, they're all reprints, they all have the little stamp on there. Uh, the, the good thing there is you could do it in one go. The point of this is to hand them out. So I don't know how many uh, we have here, how many packs are, 35 packs. So I'm just going to start with packs until we get there and go ahead and pull one of every card and i got a little list off to the side on my screen here just to see what's up so taking a quick look at the artwork i love that there's umbreon on there and gengar with pikachu trevenant who cares um but that's pretty cool and i think there's three cards in each of them yeah these are meant to be handed out during halloween in lieu of candy or in addition to if you got that kind of funding um you can get them for less than msrp you can get big bulk cases of them in uh like sam's club or costco and there should be a hollow in each one. So here we go. We're going to just try to see if I can check off this list here as I go because it's really going to be annoying to uh, to sit there and not be able to get it uh, taken care of. So uh, here we go. We've got those three in. Moving on to the next pack. Well, I don't know why I'm showing the pack artwork. Nothing changes. I'm just going to rip a little faster if we can do this. The problem with three cards in there is you can't really uh, get into easily without... You know, at a risk of damaging the cards. The Pikachu is there. That's great. So we'll take that. All right. So let's see what else we get. Nice getting that Pikachu there. And as you can see on these, they all have a little, uh, it almost looks like the 25th anniversary stamp with it's kind of being a Pikachu, but the little addition of there being a little pumpkin kind of look there. Ah, oh, Fluttermane looks pretty good there. That's cool. Excellent. And again, it's just habit to show these packs. They're the same. They're the same, Rob. Don't keep showing the packs. It's just such habit to like present it as something. Mimic you. We are seeing duplicates already in that Phantom. Of course, with the commons, that's probably going to happen. I think the opening it straight through, if they are seated, it should be getting a different hollow each time. There's the Gengar. And then some of these commons and uncommons, whatever, these non hollow cards are going to end up being repeats. Uh, as we go through, which we've already seen, uh, Phantom and Trevenant. So, uh, yeah, repeats for sure. Oh, Dark Ryan, there we go. It's not like I'm, you know, itching to get a certain pull because we should be able to pull them all out of the 35 packs, hopefully a lot less. Um, and then I usually take the extra packs and just hand them out uh, at Halloween, like leave them in there in case somebody's interested in it, like a you know kid sees it and thinks that's a fun thing to get. So try to go that route. <coughs> and get rid of the rest. Uh, no need to keep this as like an investment piece. It's just a tiny little fun thing. And since I have the previous years, it's just kind of nice to add it. There's the one I really wanted. If there was a chase card, I think it's the Umbreon in my opinion. 
I don't even know how many packs in. Probably could count up the hollows and get an idea for it because I think there's been no duplicates on the hollows. Uh, I've seen people pull it and it's, you know, seated. The monkey dory looks pretty nice. Um, where you can get uniquely different things uh, all the way through and then you complete the set in one go. But I've also seen where a couple get skipped and then they got to go through more packs and everything. I kind of like the fact that it's seated because it's so simple uh, that... You know, you don't have to pull a bunch of duplicates and waste a time opening all these, you know, really simple, easy cards to get uh, just to have the fun of completing a set. There's there's a good little feeling that comes along with completing a set. It's not like the easiest thing to do. Oh, man, we got a, a repeat there on the Okie Dogie. And with that being a repeat, I want to know if we're going to have a, a mismatch seed here and repeat again. Uh, to that next one because we're only missing three cards, but it's not looking good. Yeah, we're gonna repeat again. Uh oh, uh oh, that's not cool. Uh, I think we're only missing two cards actually, just because I don't know if that scream tail came up earlier, but here it is now. So interesting. Ah, uh, kind of stinks because now I'm gonna open up a bunch of packs that really aren't necessary just to see if I can complete. If I repeat again, I'm wondering if I can count it out and then grab the one that's missing. Yeah, we're repeating again here. Okay. Although that Quaxley showed up, so that's that's something we were missing too. So, oh, I don't like this game. <laughs> I was really hoping, really hoping we could just get this done in one instead of having a bunch of repeats. Maybe these repeat hollows need to be sent out with uh, with that mystery prize that we're doing. So, that might be the way to go. Yeah, these are all, all duplicates here. Yikes. What are we missing? We are missing uh, a Litwick, maybe? Let's take another look through here. All right, hang on. Let me see. All right, so there we have it. We actually have 20 packs left over. We used 15 total. Uh, not too bad. Um, did get some duplicates, and then I started trying to catch it and thought, where did I go wrong in documenting which ones I got, trying to do it on the fly. I did miss one, that Litwick that I was looking for. And uh, I think along the way, I ended up getting that Quaxley, so we weren't quite done. So in the end, didn't open up more than really needed to, maybe by a pack or two, but uh, I don't really know. Whatever. So I'm adding these to the binder here, uh, the binder where I have the previous sets, the 2022 and 2023 sitting right there. And you know what's ridiculous is they're actually doing a lot of duplicates from previous sets on here. I don't know if it's ridiculous, but it's just kind of weird. It's like there's so many different cards. All you got to do is come up with the stamp, maybe a hollow pattern for some. Like, it, is it that much to do? I, I like that we have the starters from Gen 9 here. Uh, Quaxley and Sprigatito, uh, Coco there, but let's see, I think that Mimikyu is the same Mimikyu that was previously used. Interesting that we went that route. Um, different hollow, you get the, the Cosmo hollow here, where these are just kind of straight foil, so that's one little difference there. This Pikachu down here, same thing, but it's a different hollow, so that's, that's at least a little difference. <laughs> Come on. You know, they, they could have taken it a step further and done a different Pikachu artwork. They could have done a different Mimikyu artwork. Um, I don't know if they need to go as far as new artworks for this kind of a set because of the nature of it. Uh, it would be really nice if they did something like that. Like, maybe have these characters and do fan submissions and, you know, maybe not as, as big as the Illustrator Rare, but just do a fan submission version of this set. That would be interesting. I don't know. Um, a lot of ideas, always ideas. Sure, whatever, I'm full of them, and uh, sometimes just full of it. So, whatever, it doesn't really matter. <clears throat> the reality is, we have uh, these different things going through here in the binder, and filling it out, just trying to toss them in and complete this set for 2024. So we'll have to take a quick look down memory road. Oh my gosh, here, I can't get the back and forth of this side entered here. I sleeve the hollows, but the others I don't really worry about for this particular set. Uh, some sets I do care, doing reverse hollows and things, but on here, it's just not big enough to, to put that much into it. I think I have enough space to do another 30 card set, uh, so 2025 should fit in here if and when that time comes. But let's just roll back real quick, see if we can take a look from the beginning here. Yes. All right, the front end of this is my Pokemon Go set, but I'm just trying to, you know, utilize the binder because they're all so small as far as sets but we have that first run there in 2022 when they did this coming in i think it starts up again over here for the next set here in 2023 following through we've seen some duplicates already and then yeah those are duplicates too aren't they um finishing out over here on that 
moving into the Phantom again. I don't know why they started off with Phantom of Trevenant. I'm not even a big fan of Trevenant, but uh, whatever. It doesn't matter for me. This is just an interesting, fun little thing to do. And I got a few packs that I can hand out. Hand out. Uh, I really do like the Cosmo Hollow. I don't know if you can see it very well right there, but it does look pretty good. Let me... Here. Here's a couple. Here's a couple on that. Uh, there we go. You get a little bit of an effect of that Cosmo Hollow going on there. The Flutter Main is interesting just because it runs all the way down the side here, so I kind of like that. These are just a couple duplicates. So, uh, yeah, got some packs to hand out. Got to share it a little bit with you and some space for the future. Maybe, just maybe, you can see this coming to you soon. That Galarian Articuno tin from Crown Zenith, two three-pack blisters from Stellar Crown, and a Pokemon Mystery Prize. All you got to do is like, comment, and subscribe. Be a part of the channel. Be a part of V-Rule. And make sure that you hit the bell because I post seven days a week. And with that, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.